trying to drive across there. Gotta get the car goes, man. Mm -hmm. And some chicken, bro. That's what else I got I'm gonna show y'all this now. I don't tell you what I'm gonna do when I get home. And hey, get some uh, marinade, man. Dang. Boy, back on that grill, man. I know Pony is very excited to hear that. Yeah. Imagine you realize something, man. A lot of cats really don't be having no motion out here, man. They just want you to think they got motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, pay attention to social media, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, stop looking at it how they want you to look at it and look at it for what it is. Like, a lot of times people will put certain stuff on social media because they want you to think they got motion when really, <laughs> when you really got motion, you ain't got that like you got motion. Everybody know you got motion, you did. But anyway... Welcome to another video. I go by Don. If you did not know, I got a beautiful wife. Her name is Corner. This is our channel. Gang, man, we back with another vlog. And vlog, man, you did what I'm saying, man. Showing y'all our life. Our life is your entertainment. But I'm going to give y'all some game while y'all being entertained. No kid. Now, you feel me? Back at Walmart. I was at Walmart on yesterday's vlog. Back at Walmart today, man. It's like, bro. Walmart, Kroger, Fashion Nova, uh, 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 I don't know, Amazon, bro, they get all our money. My baby, she love to shop for clothes, you know what I'm saying, because she, she like to get fly, and she buy me stuff too, so I don't complain about it. Me, I like to eat. I gotta eat, because I'm going for a certain kind of body that I want, you know what I'm saying, and I'm looking like you no know, cow, you dead, if I do say so myself, you yeah, feel me? And y'all, I ain't had a drink of alcohol in like three weeks, man. I ain't trying to say I'm an alcoholic or nothing, but I'm just saying, bro, it's been real hard. Like, I've been really having to have some willpower when it comes to not drinking because I got a bottle of um, Martell at the crib. We got a bottle of uh, Tennessee whiskey at the crib, man. We got some, you know what I'm saying? We got it at the crib, but I ain't even touch it last weekend. And y'all know, man, I like to get lit, but I'm like, look, man, you got to have some willpower over something. Because you can't be on the internet preaching willpower and preaching discipline and fitness and health. And then every weekend you turn it up. You can't wait to Friday or Saturday to basically pull you a shot of liquor. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that, that ain't it. So I've decided that I'm not going to basically have a drink until St. Paddy's Day weekend. Now I hope my partner don't hit me up and be like, done. What y'all on? What y'all on, done? Y'all pull up. That turn up. Cause it's going to be kind of hard. Not, not, you know what I'm saying? I hope he don't. Anyway. Because I'm trying to hold out until St. Paddy's Day weekend. I'm going to hold out until St. Paddy's Day weekend. Because me and my mom, we're going to go to Savannah. And we're going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, man, right now, man, I'm waiting on the food to come out. Honestly, didn't buy no groceries, man. We just got a couple of things. I think that's why I'm back at the grocery store. Because we didn't really buy groceries this week. We just got a couple of things to hold us over, man. And a lot of times, we be thinking that food is going to hold us over. But, dang, I eat so much that... It can't hold us over, man. I don't know, man. We gonna have to get some yam. You know what I'm saying? I wonder, I wonder they give me a couple of yam. What y'all think? Let me stop. If y'all be like, what you trying to say about folk who get yam? I ain't trying to say nothing about folk who get yam, man. Get your yam. I'm just saying. Let her get a couple on. You know what I'm saying? Like, no kidding up. But anyway, man. Uh, been in Frosty for a minute because Corner wanted to drive the Dunn. She liked driving her car. Honestly, both of these cars are Corners. I sold my car. So uh, I'm out here looking for me a little truck or something, man. Think about getting that scat. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get, man. I don't know. I might just hold out until I get the C8. I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. What y'all think? Scat pack or C8? Carvette. What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? And if, but if I get the scat, I'm not going to go challenge it. I'm going to go charge it this time. Go charge it with the scat pack and, or the C8 Carvette. Probably the Z06. I don't know. Y'all let me know, man. All the car people that watch the channel, let me know. What would you guys get? You feel me? But... Yeah, man, but that's what we got going on. Really nothing, man. So appreciate everybody who tuned in daily to watch us, man. Like, oh, I know. One thing I want to talk about before we get to the crib. We show you guys our life. That's what we do. We're going to show you guys our life, man. We're going to be an open book to you guys, you know what I'm saying, as much as we can be. We don't tell you guys a lot of personal stuff that we go through, but we do tell you guys a lot of personal stuff that we go through, if you know what I mean. This is what I want to say. I understand that some of you guys want to be in tune with our life, but the respect has to be there. You know what I'm saying? The respect has to be there. 
You dig what I'm saying? We don't mind you guys looking into our lives. We don't mind you guys following us on uh, our other social media outlets. We don't mind that. All I'm saying is that we love everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't, we wouldn't even want to do YouTube. And we know that it comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? We, it comes with being a YouTuber, people being involved in your life, people being weird. We know that. All we're saying is that let's respect each other. You know what I'm saying? Because we're human just like you guys. We're real people. And you may have a comment or you may feel a certain kind of way about somebody that you don't know. And that's cool. But can it just be respectful if you did? Yeah. Anyway, man, we love y'all, man. Welcome to another video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the bell. And when you ring the bell, please hit off. And we're going to see y'all in a minute. Let's go. Yeah. Bro, these folks put these bags in their car way too fast, bro. I got to check this joint. Man, he hit Sling Shop, man. Look, got it. That he doing something. He ain't doing nothing. I'm hating. Yup, I want a sling shot. Anyway, let's see, man. Make sure everything get him. I ain't got time to come back. Okay. Got them uh, protein bars. Blessing. Got the uh, plant protein. What the world? Man, come on, man. Bro, this is uh, Now they put it. Look, bro. They put this amount of protein in this big old bag. Bro. I'll be back in some protein next week, man. Oh, man, bro. I'll tell you the truth, man. And gang, I decided to go with plant protein because uh, just for different reasons with my baby, man. I think Quan is lactose. She says she ain't, but I think she is. What this is right here? Oh, that Quan shampoo, cooking spray. Oh yeah, and did right here. Cool. That was next. Now all that will fit it all. All that will fit it all, gang. I can't make this up, man. Everything is hot. Everything going up with what these folk paying me. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the crib. And I'm going to let y'all in, man. Y'all don't forget to come in, like, sub so the channel. Ring the bell if you haven't. Now, just ring the bell here. Oh, let's go. Gang, what's happening? She came to shoot corn over the corn. She looking at everything but what she said she was coming to look, look for. Those ain't really crops. They think they're gonna feed it. They still good though. Let me see something. Dang, that's a little shoe. Look at that. They are so comfy. I need these bags. Those are like $44, they ain't good. But they comfy. That's what I can get for $44. What we got going on, man? We up here in Shoe Carnival. I might go, I'm gonna find these shoes. We, we are. God damn, these look good. Let's see if I fall wearing these shoes. Yeah, these feel. Those are ugly. Those are like the nurses' shoes. Oh. These are the ones that everybody wears. Um, I really don't know where they are. I know our crops are ugly to be real. Yeah, I always thought crops were ugly too. But what we got going on, man. We up in shoe calm, man. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to be looking for some shoes to basically squat in and see what she's looking for. Yeah. I don't know, gang. I don't know. I might have to get these. You don't like these? Hey, that's... I don't like them. What about the black one? The black one ugly, too? The men? Why would you want them? You know you saw these converse, though. 65. Where the low top was? These are ugly. The world going on with the world. Oh, bro. Yeah. Want to go to Journey? Oh, right. wherever you want to go, I'm with it. They got shoes in here, but yeah, let's go down. They're going to be the same ticket, man. They probably got the regular kind. Yeah, I just want the regular kind. Here you go. We either, man. We either. We either. Want to drive? Yeah. All right. Alright gang, we finna go. Shit, them all, man. Shit, they got the converse over there. Let's get it. They be trapping. Two times for all my partners, they be rapping. Bam. Locked up. Maybe so long since I've been in my game. 
ain't even that many really. I thought they had shut this mall down. I thought they did too. That was it on the news. I hope I'm gonna see my ox in here, bro. That's on sight. <laughs> you didn't have no ox. Mm. All right, man. It's a whole lot of cap right now, so I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Let's go. $80 for that? They trip. What you waiting on? Uh, I think I need a six minute. Oh, we have a six minute now. Okay. Y'all think about these, bro. You dope. Y'all think about the new balance, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want no shoes, bro. Anyway, Quantum finna get these vans, man. We gonna holler back at y'all in a minute. Don't forget to comment, like, so the channel ring the bell. When you ring the bell, you know what to do, folks. Yeah, uh, I get it. Man, Quanah got me watching this crazy show, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't know if I'm supposed to be scared or if I'm supposed to be funny, bro. This is crazy, bro. Not yet. Man, I got, let me see what the name of this is so I can tell y'all about it, man. Hold on, man. This y'all funny, though. So the name of it is The Reading. It's on Prime, bro. If you got Prime, man, check that out. Let me show y'all something right quick, though. So I brought, I bought this uh, vegan protein. Look out for my baby because I think she's lactose. She says she ain't, but I think she is. Bro, it only has 12 servings. Let me show y'all this. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy when you try to basically eat healthier. How they tax it, how they, cause I guess they have to pull the weight out of the protein, but look at this right here, man, look at this. The whey protein has 22 servings, man, that's crazy, bro. But uh, we gotta hit the gym, man, cause as you can see, 729, we gotta get there so we can knock out this leg day. Corner just reminded me that it was legs today, man, I forgot. That's the reason we went and got hurt on uh, Chuck Taylor's, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't know, it's better to do legs with flat shoes, man. Plus, my baby like to be stylish, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I like her to be stylish. I like her to look good when she's working out because it motivates me to, you know what I'm saying? Step my game up. But I'm about to go get ready for the gym. Probably finish watching this when we get back from the gym. Then I'm thinking about watching that Chris Rock special. Let me go up here and get ready for this gym so me and my baby can go knock out this leg thing. But hey, check it. Let me show you all like that. I think I showed you all this stuff. I've been waiting all day to drop this, bro. I done had the Starburst kind of. Nice. I got skills. You know, so I'm gonna sip on this while I get ready because I want to be good and ready for a workout when I get to the gym, man. Yeah, but hey, go check that out. It's on Amazon Prime, man. I would let y'all get all Prime, but I can't do that. I just can't do that. Yeah, yo, man. But yo, Amazon Prime, the reading starring Monique. It's very funny. It's a very funny movie, but it's also very uh, scary. Or what's the word I'm looking for? Like it's it's kind of like Scream, where it's not that scary, but it's it's not really a horror film, but it's, I don't know, man, but go check it out, the reading, and y'all let us know what y'all think about it, man, on Amazon Prime, man. Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to comment, like, so the channel, ring the bell, when you ring the bell, y'all, you know how we do it. I'm gonna keep saying it, because y'all gotta keep doing it. No cap, let's go, gang. Gang, what's happening? So, just got back from the gym. I left my phone at the crib, gang. But I had a good workout, man, just working out and vibing with my lady, like, spending some wee time in the gym. 
killing two birds with one stone. No kidnapping. Yeah. Right now, man, I'm finna whip up our breakfast for in the morning, and then I'm gonna uh, whip up uh, some broccoli for dinner. Yeah. And I also gotta marinate this chicken, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a busy night, man. Like, we really don't have no downtime, guys, until we actually go to sleep. But we ain't gonna cry about it, man, because to whom much is given, much is required. That's a fact. And that's that air fry y'all here in the back. You dig? So let me whip these eggs up, man. Whip up this broccoli, man. Eat and prepare for tomorrow, man, so we can get some rest, get some sleep. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm gonna come back and holler at y'all tonight, man. I wanna holler at y'all about something. So I'm gonna come back and holler at y'all. Y'all just, uh, come in like something. Tell me, you dig what I'm saying? Ring the bell here. out. Let go. Gang, gang, what it do? Good morning, man. Good morning. Hey, I know I said I was in the video last night, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no excuse. I thought about picking up the camera, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up in the morning and have a car talk with the gang. I ain't going to talk y'all y'all this morning. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Take your problems to God. Take your worries to God. He can handle it. Oh, what a privilege it is. To take it to him. To take. Let me see. What? How I go? Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get y'all back with me. What? Yeah, y'all know the song I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be acting like y'all ain't never been in church. You know what I'm saying? What a church for that. It basically says it's a privilege to be able to take everything to God in prayer. You know what I'm saying? That's a privilege, bro. And, and, and you got to treat it as such because the thing about it, though, life is going to happen, man. Life is going to life. Life is going to happen. You're going to get scared sometimes. You're going to get worried sometimes. You're going to even feel like, man, this shit is not fair, man. So when you feel like that, excuse me for cussing. I know a lot of y'all like, how you going to talk about God and cuss? Anyway, excuse me for cussing. But when you get like that, when you feel like that, you got to take it to him in prayer. Leave it with him. Put it on his back. Whatever it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. And we have to basically accept that God's will got to be done, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of stuff that happen in my life where I didn't want to accept it. I didn't want to accept the fact that it was God's will. You know what I'm saying? And what I have learned, bro, like, the relationship that you have with the creator, it has to be personal. Like, a lot of people be like, don't question God. You can't blame God. No, you can because it's a personal relationship. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we can be disappointed in God. We can be disappointed in God. It's cool. Talk to him. Let him know. I'm very disappointed in you, God. See, some of y'all may think I'm crazy. Like, how you going to say that, dumb? But it's real because I have been taught and told that the relationship that you have with your creator, it has to be personal. So if you want to highlight him, if you want to talk to him, if you want to basically, you know what I'm saying, get mad at him, you can do that. It's kind of like having a relationship with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband, your kids. It's personal. So when something is personal, you have the right to ask questions. You have the right to be angry. You did. But also believe this. Everything that happens, it happens on his time and he has your whole life planned out. So soon you're going to understand why you had to go through what you had to go through. You did. You feel me? Like a lot of stuff that I don't went through, gang. I be like, bro, like, why why I got to go through this? You know what I'm saying? Why I got to be worried about this? Why I got to feel like this? Why I got to bear so much pain? You know what I'm saying? Why my dreams can't come true fast? You know what I'm saying? Why I ain't a millionaire yet? I know I'm better than so-and-so, so-and-so. Why my audience ain't as big as his? Yo, I get them questions all the time. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But guess what? What God got for that person ain't what he got for me. I like to tell people I'm not a religious person. I don't really believe in a religion, even though I grew up Christian, so I have a lot of the Christian's beliefs, but I'm a very spiritual person. I'm spiritual, you know what I'm saying? I don't crucify the Muslims or the Buddhists or the Jewish people or none of that. I love all people, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that if you don't believe what I believe that you're going to basically go to hell. I don't think that. I don't know. That's why I say I'm more spiritual than religious. Anyway, I just gave y'all a whole sermon, man. I can't believe I just did. I said I wasn't going to do that. said I wasn't going to talk y'all off. That's what I said. And I just talked everybody here off. But uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, gang. You guys, make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell. And after you ring the bell, make sure you hit all. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all. Me and my lady. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all, man. I'm planning a uh, date night for me and Corner, maybe Friday or Saturday. Uh, Yeah, so y'all going to get a good date night vlog. 
know what I'm saying? Quanah want to go bowling. And it's crazy that she do because Quanah never wants to bowl because she feels like she can't bowl. But anybody can bowl, man. She's very good at everything she does. So we probably going to go bowling either Friday or Saturday. I got to talk to her when I get home today. And yeah, man, and, uh, I'm going I'm to I'm talk to Quanah because I know y'all like seeing Quanah. So I'm going to try to get her to pick up the camera more often just to talk to you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? But Quanah... It's very busy, gang, so don't hold it against her. You, you feel me? I try to get her on the vlog as much as I can, but she's very busy. She has a lot of stuff on her plate right now. I think she told you guys. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you anyway if she hasn't. She's in uh, real estate school. She's trying to become a realtor, you know what I'm saying, because she's trying to basically be her own boss. Yeah, and I'm very proud of my baby for that, so I'm going to do whatever I got to do to basically help her out, even if I have to wash dishes, cook, you know what I'm saying, vacuum the flow. And this stuff she do all the time. But if I have to do it just so my baby can reach her goals, then I'm going to do it. But I'm also going to basically tell her, like, hey, the gang be missing. You know what I'm saying? On the weekend, mom, you got to pick up the camera before I do. And so they can see you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people may think, like, what y'all got going on? Quarter don't never be vlogging. Now, Quarter good. Quarter just got a lot of stuff on her plate right now. And she's juggling a lot of things because she still got to go to work. Because bills got to be paid. I wish I could tell her to stop working. Go ahead and go to real to school, get your real estate license, and sell these million dollar homes. I wish it worked like that, but it don't. You know what I'm saying? She got to work, I got to work, and both of us got to chase our dreams so we can basically create a life that we want to live for us and ours, if you did what I'm saying. But I ain't going to hold y'all, man. Y'all be easy. DQ gang, DQ family, we love y'all. You too. I appreciate the platform, no cap. Even though y'all be messing with me with the Agler Realtor, y'all need to put me on. Yo, YouTube, I'm talking to YouTube, because I know they be looking sometimes. Put me in Agler Realtor, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Because we appreciate the opportunity just to get on the platform and make a little bread and get to show people our life, no cap. Because we really and we real. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all like these video. Comment down below. You know what I'm saying? I ain't giving out no specific number, none of that. We just like to interact with the people, you dig what I'm saying? And we trying to get in that act with them. Can't get back it, you feel me? Anyway, I'm going to leave y'all there right here, though, man. I was thinking, right? It way too much money out here for y'all, nigga, to keep. Hey, go get you some bread. Let's go. Step one, wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation